what is up comrades welcome to another video today i'm going to be doing an attack on tank rush get started video so i'm basically going to show you how to do everything get started learn how to do the controls and proper um tank warfare and yeah it's, it's gonna be pretty cool and for some of you who are very new to this game so let's hop straight into it so, the first thing I'm going to say is here are your selection of tanks. Here you go. You have, well, I collected all the tanks, but when you first get this game, you start off with a starter tank. For the Russians, it is the T-3476. Now, it's different for every country. Like for the Germans, it's the Panzer IV. For the United States, whoop, wrong thing. Stupid game. For the USA, it's the M24. For the Japanese, it is the Type 97. And for the British, it is the Valentine, Valentine tank. Now I'm going to play as the Americans. So, basically how you get all these tanks and you earn them is you do missions you have to complete the missions all the missions right here you have your first mission which you start off with your first tank then you have your second mission and if you pass that you will acquire your second tank then you move on to your third mission you get your third tank right here and then once you pass the fourth one, you get your last tank, and yeah, you get the idea. So let's start off with the starter tank, so I can show you what to do. Now, the controls can be different. The controller can either be a joystick, which you can turn around, and you can maneuver, or you can use these two sticks that actually look like um, real tank controls, and you can just use those. Personally, I like the control sticks because they help me maneuver easily and deflect shots. So now you're wondering, you're probably wondering, Chief Wolf, how do you do proper tank warfare? I will show you. You see right here you have your AP shells. AP stands for armor piercing. Then you have APCR, armor piercing composite round, which basically they um, are faster and can do a lot more damage. And then you have smoke screen shells, which obviously just smoke screen. Nothing special to them. So I'm going to go charge at these tanks right here. Also, I forgot to mention, um, you probably saw some stats back there in the, um, the garage or the hangar. Those show you all the stats of the tank. So, the starter tanks usually don't have a very good defense, or in other words, armor. And also, the guns are not very powerful as well. But that's because you have to learn how to play the game. Also, there, is a, there are um, machine guns you can use as spotter, spotter rifles, in which you can use on targets so you can mark where you're shooting at. I would especially use them if you're playing on nighttime missions because you'll be able to see where you're going. Now we're gonna charge at this pack 40 right here. I missed my shot, now I have to wait for it to reload. Now a new update that came out a, little, a couple months ago was crew damage. It's basically, if you get hit, you will lose a crew member. And unfortunately, I was too close to that gun because I tried to blitz it and I died. That was not a very smart move on me. So I'm just gonna get into the stats right now. So you see, the attack and the defense is not very good now. Despite this, they have very good moving, other words, speed. And also, um, certain guns have different loading speeds. That means how fast they can reload. Now, here are some better tanks like the Sherman. You have the Sherman E8, which is very good. They have the strongest one, the Pershing. Now, you think that's all the tanks? Nope. You got charged tank destroyers. These tanks are amazing, for the most part. There is only like one or two of the special tanks that I don't like. Actually, it's just one. And I will show that in a little bit. 
but these you don't earn. You actually have to pay for with real money. I've been getting a lot of comments on how do you buy gold, how do you buy gold. It's literally right here. You see, you go on the shopping cart icon, you buy the gold, then what you want to do is once you use your gold, if you want to get other things like silver coins, mines, smokescreen APCR, you can trade the leftover gold for coins. And you can use those silver you can use those silver coins and you can basically buy things. Now if you have enough silver coins you can use it for gold. I personally don't do that. I just use the gold for silver and I you can buy stuff. So these charge tanks are very powerful. Typically they will hold the strongest guns in the game. Like right here, the American M40 has one of the most powerful guns in the entire game. The 155mm howitzer. But with this, it comes at a very low defense or armor. And that is a bit of a problem in tank warfare. But this game is very realistic. It has mostly realistic armor. Like, um, the M18 right here had only a single inch of armor in real life, so they matched it. But, this is, but you have to play your cards right with this tank. This tank is the fastest tank in the game. You can blitz enemy tanks very well with this. But you have to be careful. You have to know how to avoid enemy shots, because it, it only takes a few hits to destroy this thing. Now you have better armed tanks like the M36, also has a very powerful 90mm gun, or even though this isn't as um, best equipped, you have the M10, and the M10 has a very fast reloading gun, so I'm going to hop straight into a battle. So this time, I'm actually going to play the game properly, and I'm going to show you how to do proper tank warfare. Now, I will get through some of the other nations, but right now I'm just showing the basics. So, like I said previously, here's the moving. There is a turret lock button in case if you want to look around or if you want to do cool positions with your turret or get screenshots. Otherwise, you look around, you scan for enemy targets. I'm oh, and I also forgot to mention, there is a free view look. You can look around... You can see where the enemy is, where your forces are. This is a new feature. So right here we got some Nazi tanks. It looks like we have two Tigers. Um, where are the other tanks? They're all spread out. And some of them might not have spawned in yet. That's another thing. Alright, looks like we're engaging, engaging the two tigers. So I'm going to skip this part because it's going to be a little bit. Alright, so there's a Stug up there. A Stumgeschutz. Alright, so I aim my shot too high. Now, to properly do the scope, it's not like a regular crosshair. You kind of have to put it under there. Oh shoot, we got a JU-87. Got to be aware of that. You have to put it underneath because it's supposed to represent a proper tank scope. And yeah, it's not like other games. And they're also the charged tanks have 5.0 scopes. Compared to the regular tanks, I only have 2.5 scopes. So that's an advantage of these tanks. And I just destroyed a Stug. Whoa! Whoa! What the frick? There's a Stuka! And it's got the siren. Kinda. So, so, I wanna find where these tiger tanks are. Oh shoot! What hit me? Oh! Uh oh. Yeah, I'm taking damage. It looks like I lost a crew member there. Uh oh. What killed me? Uh oh. A Hetzer? Oh, I hate this tank. I hate this tank. I'm, I'm gonna explain why. Okay, this is literally the only tank I don't have in the game because I don't want to buy it. If you look at the Stumgeschutz and you look at the Hetzer, there is very little difference. The Hetzer is weaker armor, 
Um, it's moving is barely better. The only thing that's good is it has more ammo. But otherwise, it's pretty bad. I am thinking about, and I don't know what you guys think about it, maybe getting a petition to have this removed so we can have the Hummel. And I will show a picture of that right now. So you guys probably saw the Americans had the M40. Well, the Germans need the Hummel. Has a 15 centimeter or 150 millimeter gun. And yeah, I think that would just complete the German tech tree because all the other countries are getting it. I will go through the tech trees of all the other countries. Don't worry, I promise. I just wanted to show this because we do need this vehicle in the game. It would be a really good addition. So now I'm back in the game, and yeah, pretty much, um, like I said, we got, we got to get the Hetzer out of here. I mean, it, it's just bad. It doesn't deserve to be in this game. The rest of the tanks can stay, and oh, there's something else. Um, the 3 of 3 page are anti-aircraft vehicles you can play as. Now, I don't usually play as anti-aircraft vehicle, but you can. Um, I mean, it's kind of rare to shoot down an aircraft just because of how fast they move. Wait, you, you can destroy tanks with this if you play your cards right. Now, now that I'm doing that, I will go through the German tech tree. So, your starter tank is the Panzer IV, then you have the Panther, the Tiger I, and the King Tiger, which is your last tank. You have the Stug, the Crappy Hetzer, the Jagd Panther which is really good. I really like the Yag Panther. And then the Beast, the Yag Taiga. Now we will go through the... Oop, we should go probably go through Russia. The Soviets. So we have the, T, the T-34-76, your starter. T-34-85, very good tank. KV-1C, very heavily armored. And the IS-2, which has a 122mm gun. They have the SU-76 self-propelled gun, the SU-85, the ISU-122, really good tank. Then you have the KV-2. By the way, the M40, the KV-2, and the other self-propelled guns that are in this game, they all have high explosive howitzers, and I will show you that right now. So we're in a battle. We're gonna charge here, up here it says HE, that stands for High Explosive. Uh, if you hit a tank with these High Explosives, you will get, you will cause a lot of damage to your enemies. And you will be able to get two to three shot kills. Unless, unless it's something super armored, but even then, you should be able to only get a few shots compared to some other tanks which take like, eight to nine hits with APCR, but either way, still. Okay, this J87 is kinda, well it was hovering over me like a buzzard. Yeah, I had to wait for it to go away, so here's the results of the high explosive howitzers. Watch the show, boom. You hit a tank with that, you are more than likely to get a kill. Oh shoot, the Stuka. The Stuka, it almost killed me. Has two 37mm anti-tank guns on it. It's very dangerous. It was a new addition. Considering that they had the dive bombers for Germany, I wonder if they're going to add it for the other countries. Like maybe they're going to add the SBD Dauntless for America. Maybe the Judy for Japan, or maybe that, or, um, for Japan, that, that, or the Aichi D3 Val, um, the Soviets, um, I imagine they're gonna add the Stromovic, the Isle to Stromovic, Britain, probably the Hawker Typhoon, oh, shit, Britain, they're probably gonna add the Hawker Typhoon, um, and that's, should be it. That should be it for the nations. Yeah, there's Japan, America, Russia, Germany, Britain. So that should that should be everyone. Okay, this Stuka is just hovering over me. 
because of how slow I am in the KV. It's like a freaking buzzard trying to eat roadkill. It's ridiculous. I still haven't gotten any kills because it's so slow. Looks like there's a stumgeschutz. Um, they call them stugs for short. I want to say my best tips in this game, my best advice is learn the scope, learn how the shells work, and then um, I will show you how to deflect with faster tanks. I mean, it kind of works in this game. It's not 100%. Oh, uh-oh. I just lost the tank. Let's see if maybe I can get a hit on the stroke. No, the shell was too heavy. These are very heavy shells. Ooh. He's just coming after me. I'm that stupid prey. Oof. These guys are running away. Hey, you blitz, why are you running away? You blitz shouldn't be running away. Uh-oh, someone got hit with something. <laughs> oh, did you see that? The Stuka crashed. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> that is... is that's gold, that's gold right there. Oh crap, I don't think I got any kills. Darn it, but that, that is so funny. He was trying to pull off an attack and his plane said, nope. He crashed. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Um, I'm gonna skip this part, but that was funny. Mission failure. Wait, why? Oh, the stupid little Hetzer. Oh, that's fine. I should probably get into the real stuff now. Alright, now it's time for some serious talk. How to do things. So here we go. We're charging at the tanks now. The, mi the missions will get harder as you play. So, oh, by the way, there is a commander's hatch, so it looks like you're looking at the hatch. Kinda. And I wish they would just actually let you see out of it, but then again, they don't have models for people, and if they did, they would probably look really cringy. You know, it's like, but the weird thing is, when you look into the hatch, you don't even, like, see anything inside. It's like a void. Just a void of blackness. So here we're going to be coming up on the enemy tanks. Here we go, here we go. Here we're going to use APCR, the composite rounds. See that one? I don't know how that deflected. There are some bugs and glitches in this game. Now, this game isn't like 100%. Ooh, that was a one shot. Oh, what the? Wait, I thought this tank was good. Oh, yeah, the panther gun is a little OP. Alright, alright. Hold on. So here are the Japanese tanks. Um, they're not as good except for the Cheeto. And the... These. And I guess the Chinu is good. But, yeah, in real life, Japanese tanks had very bad armor. But still, we're gonna play as... The Japanese tanks, just gonna kind of show you how not good they are. Now, this tank is actually decent, because in real life it had decent armor, but the guns are very weak, but it's because of smaller caliber, and with that they can reload faster like this. Hang on. Yeah, very quickly. Very quickly indeed. Um, I think these are called the Chihi. The Chihi tanks. And, yeah, it was designed to be an improvement for Japanese tanks. Because a lot of the Japanese tanks were really bad. We're playing on the island campaign. 
The Japanese did have a couple good tanks. I don't think they use them properly. Like the Honey. Those could take out Shermans. Looks like a cruiser is trying to provide support. Also, this tank is very good moving. Or speed, I should say. So, you can definitely catch up with your enemies. And... I'll use the scope. Oh, shoot. Actually, wow. Hold on, I have an idea. I have a really good idea. I don't know how well it's gonna work, though, is the problem. Oh, shit. There's a Sherman back there. I did not see that. I didn't see it earlier. Use a smoke screen. There we go. I can't really see me. Trying to. Oh shit. That one missed. Alright, go, 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 go. You also have to have really good timing. So you don't get penetrated. Oh shit. Not good. Ow! Bastard. Damn it. Reload. Piece of crap. Now this tank is surviving a lot better than the other Japanese tanks. Oh shit. I guess not. Guess they're still trash as always. So. Never mind. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play as the heavy, most heavily armed tank of all the game. I will show you <laughs> true armor. If it sounds like I'm a little off track from where I was before, it's because I was interrupted and yeah, I pretty much lost track. So I do apologize. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, this that yeah, the sounds of the um MG42. So basically, in this game, um, how I get started really is just learn the controls, learn what different shells do, learn which tanks are good, and when you use um, the bad tanks, learn how to maneuver. Now, this game is not easy. You will have to. You will have a lot of um trial and error. But it'll be worth it. Trust me. Trust me, it will. Um, it will definitely pay off in, in the end. When you have to... What am I trying to say? Face, um, fight other tanks with bigger, better tanks. And you have to use good tanks, like professional tanks. Well, I guess that'll wrap this video up here. I hope you all enjoyed. I know it was a bit lengthy for a get started video, but I still hope you enjoyed anyways. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya, comrades. Thanks for joining in. Get it? Alright, see ya.